Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to cover how can you set up Razorpay subscription into the bubble with the help of the free plugin. So let's start. In the last video, we have see how can we set up the plugin and also how can we set up the one time products. If you miss that video, go check it out here. And let's deep dive into how can you do with the Razorpay subscription. Okay, the first thing is we will create a one page. Say razor pay. Before uh, checking out or buying any subscription, we need to build one and we need to create a plan that you are going to offer in your uh, application. Normally, these subscriptions are recurring subscription and recurring plan. So, what we need to go go to the razor pay, go to click on here, go to subscription and go to the plan. Here, we need to uh, plan so it can be like uh, every month every week annual plan or depend upon you since this is the one time thing because that is going that is going to be common for across all for your user so we are going to create it by this dashboard perfect so let's suppose we are going to check out this plan plan this id and that is a every month 500 rupees and so what we need to do first we need to you have a couple of things either you can lift all the plan that is available for your uh, account or you can just pass the plan id so if you want to lift the plan so if you see in the plugin the plugin that we are already using it okay so if you see here it already got uh, fetch all the plan lift so that we are not going to use it we will check it out on only the plan so what we simply need to do is we will drag the simple button let's say check out plan perfect and whenever someone click on it we'll say if you go into the plugin and see there's a uh, action called check out plan so that we are going to use it say check out plan razor pay check out plan here first we need to pass the plan id plan id basically the plan that user wants to buy since we are using a static one we simply just copy the plan id this second is start at like when this plan going to start if it is a today date if you want to immediately start the plan for the user you can pass the today time but if you want to uh, start it in the future then you can pass the future date since we are want to start it immediately so we will say current user and if you see sorry current time and if you see here this is a unique time stamp so we need to pass the unique time so what we say simply say extract unique time and if we already know uh, bubble gives us a 13 digit unique time but we need a 10 digit so what we will do divide by 1000 and format as a number zero that is perfect and expire this basically till the so the user can have to make the payment immediately so what we can simply we will just pass the same time and we will simply say it we will just expire it after the 30 minute simple abstract same unix time and that to be divided by 1000 format as a number perfect discount id if you want to apply anything pass it if not just pass on null so that is a billing cycle so billing cycle basically means how long this payment will be go on so normally it's a it will be remain on infinite till the time user don't cancel the plan so we just keep it 10 or we can simply make it as a 100 so just to make it so when you say 100 it basically means if the plan is monthly so that means uh, mon 100 month and if the plan is weekly then it means 100 week and after 100 week it will automatically expire so yeah that's it and uh, then we will say uh, so this will it will return you the link basically so we will say uh, open in the external website and one url perfect and if you just preview this page so we, we, when you click on this checkout plan it will redirect it to the razor pay payment page we just made a one mistake 
uh, in the start at we need to pass the current time plus one minute because start date should be greater than the current time so that's why we need to add the minute one so that it will start after one minute perfect so when you click on checkout plan it will come here and you just user need to just click on this start subscription perfect and okay or you simply pay by the success payment is successful perfect perfect so but now your application had taken the subscription but you don't know because it do not redirect back to your uh, app so what you need to do you need to set up the web hooks so that you got to know when anyone su successfully subscribe to your plan and also when anyone cancel or renew your any plan to do that we need to go to backend workflow so what we simply are duplicated and here we will say backend workflow we create a new api workflow okay, we say razor pay and now we will create a new api workflow simply say razor pay razor pay web hook and make it as a public and this can be without authentication and you should have this will be manual and simply say detect data and just copy that url go to your razor pay dashboard go to developer section go to the web hook simply click on this add new web hook paste the url the complete url with the initialize and pass any pass any secret that should be the because that will be matching so we are just for the testing one two three four this should be the unique value alert email and we will activate all the if any order paid you can choose whatever you wanted but since we are just testing out we are just putting it for everything for subscription event settlement event not virtual event we don't need fund we don't need refund yeah refund also transfer we don't need it account we don't need it payment link product page token and simply can say create web hook perfect and just to check this this is the perfect now if you just made a payment and let me find we come here and again preview it if we again preview make a subscription payment this web hook should detect the incoming web hooks once the user made a payment obviously okay we will click on this simply checkout plan say start subscription start with the payment we simply say success at the razor pay pay now successfully happened you see as soon as this payment is successful we got an event and this is the event is payment dot authorized so you can simply capture and also you will see uh, we got this 500 rupees payment and this is the order id and this is the user id who has made this payment this is the phone number for obvious reason you can't see the phone number and email id because that is my okay and how it made a payment perfect so then you need to store all these information into your db so that you can identify which user has payment and then you can and also same way if you see here even that is for even payment dot authorized that means if that is simply a payment but if it is a renew payment then the event name should be the different and if it is a cancel event then it's the name should be the different so that will be the different 
so what we simply say simply say create a new thing and say order and we will say okay order id will be required with a order id and say payment link id should be the uh, id okay just wait one second it should be this id entity id entity id you can also store the invoice id but we are storing so based upon your requirement you can store it and also don't forget to store the event type what kind of event you are getting event type that is pretty important so say request data event okay yes event yes event that is okay now okay one thing we need to remember it once we initialize everything we need to come back here and we need to remove this initialize from the url so how to do that go to the account setting go to this web hook and then choose this the url and simply click on this edit and remove this initialize simply click on save and it will work as expected so again just to test it out i'm just click on this preview and now we will see what all event we will get uh, when someone check out the subscription for the very first time i'm just removing this debug mode check out and simply say okay so click on the start subscription and again pay with the upi simply say success at the rate tracer pay we say pay now as soon as it is done payment is successful perfect now if you see come in our database go to the order table because order table this is what and okay we got the so this is for the older one this is payment dot authorized that is for the new payment and these refund dot create and process this is for the older one because just ignore them that is i just so that is how you create a subscription based babook and everything if you have any question any doubt do let me know in the